This is Erica Shablis with Erica Made, and today's quick tutorial is to show you how to take embroidery fonts and install them into your software for embroidery. Um, a, a subscriber was asking how to do that, and so this quick tutorial is going to show you just how. I found a um, a quick free font. I'm looking for BX fonts for myself because I prefer that, but they also have these other fonts on this website, and this website is. 5starfonts.com and I'll link it plus some other free fonts you can find on the internet. Um, so I'm going to go and click add to cart and it says I've successfully added to my cart. So I'm going to go right here to cart checkout and once I go there, actually let me do one and reverse it. Click it twice. Alright, once it's in my cart, I can go and do checkout. Now it's going to take me to the part where I have to add my information in. So I will pause this and come right back. I'm at the part where I can confirm my order. There it is. My order has been processed. It says thank you for your order. And you can view the you may download that person. Um, from the download link. So I'm gonna click the download link. Oh, there we go. Alright, so now that it has given me the different types, um, I don't use any of these here. I do use PS, but I want the one that has the BX on it. So I'm going to click this right here because this looks like, yep, download. And it downloaded to my computer. Uh, let's see if I can drag this down. On a Mac, all I need to do is click this right here. And then it says, um, this is the download right here. I'm going to open it up. And then it gives me this here. That's the PDF version, so I can actually open it up and look at um, a PDF style there. Then it gives me a TXT file, so that's just the text. And then here it gives me the BX file. So if I look here at the end, I see BX, BX, BX. And then if I read the whole thing, it's telling me this is large, medium, small, extra large, and extra small. Um, so they'll all say different things depending on the, um, the vendor that sells it to you. So I'm going to just choose the, cut that off. I'm just going to choose the large here and I'm going to double click. Now that I double clicked on the font, all I did was double click. It says files installed. The font FSF Teachers Pet LG large has been installed. And when I click OK, I am going to pull this down so you can see. I'm going to click right here where it has the A. That's your lettering um, design here. When I, once I click it, I'm just going to write the word test. And the name of that was something about teacher. Let me go back. Uh, LS teacher. Was it LS? I'm scrolling down to see because I cannot remember the name. Let's see here. I don't know. Something like LS. No, it wasn't LS. Let me go look. It was FSF. Okay, so I'm going to click here. F. Got to go to the Fs. FSF. There it is, right there. So if I click here, that's that font. And that is only for the large one. Let me just go ahead. I'm going to type in test. Right here. Yep, and there it is. I have the fun install. So let me just go and show you one more time by doing the other fonts. All right, here. This is the medium. I'm going to double click and it tells me it's installed. I'm going to go over here to the small, double click, and it tells me it's installed. Um, the extra large, installed, and the extra small, installed. And so what I'm going to do now is click back on the letters and then go here where it says font and here it is. I have the large, medium, small, extra large, and extra small. So really all you're doing is once you download it, you just double click on the file. If you are on a, a Mac and you're using in Brilliance, that's how that works for me. Um, let me know if you have questions. Um, I will be uh, I'm glad to answer anything. This is Erica Shablis with Erica Made, and this is on Embroidery Fonts into Embrilliance. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.